shall receive power. May 18. Going house to house with the gospel worker. Then he called his twelve disciples together, and gave them power and authority over all devils, and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God, and to heal the sick. And he said unto them, Take nothing for your journey, neither staves, nor scrip, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide, and thence depart. The Lord is calling upon his people to take up different lines of missionary service. Those in the highways and byways of life are to hear the gospel message. Church members are to do evangelistic work in the homes of their neighbors who have not yet received full evidence of the truth for this time. Let those who take up this work make the life of Christ their constant study. Let them be intensely in earnest, using every capability in the Lord's service. Precious results will follow sincere, unselfish efforts. From the great teacher, the workers will receive the highest of all education. But those who do not impart the light they have received will one day realize that they have sustained a fearful loss. Many of God's people are to go forth with our publications into places where the third angel's message has never been proclaimed. The work of the canvasser evangelist, whose heart is imbued with the Holy Spirit, is fraught with wonderful possibilities for good. The presentation of the truth, in love and simplicity, from house to house, is in harmony with the instruction that Christ gave his disciples when he sent them out on their first missionary tour. By songs of praise, humble, heartfelt prayers, and a simple presentation of truth in the family circle, many will be reached. The divine worker will be present to send conviction to hearts. I am with you always is his promise. With the assurance of the abiding presence of such a helper, we may labor with faith and hope and courage. The monotony of our service for God needs to be broken up. Every church member should be engaged in some special service for the Master. Let those who are well established in the truth go into neighboring places and hold meetings. Let God's word be read, and let the ideas expressed be such that they will be readily comprehended by all.